the Alpha Omega Taurus Stargate Revelation. Ancient stargates have been found as real devices in ancient civilizations. And how it links with my work is they show the address originally dialed up of three suns in the Taurus constellation. There are 25 uh, ancient artifacts in a collection. A collection that I believe that the powers that be over the ages have tried to hide. And these are the ones that have been left out that show the stargates, that show the star maps. These are available to the public and you can get them at thehiddenrecords.com. There's an ebook and a DVD on this particular article that shows the Alpha Omega stargates. Scholars were the first to crack the Alpha code. The letter A is derived from the Aleph, from the Apis bull. They say it's just a bull. I'm telling you that the reason they worshipped this bull at this strange angle, because remember the Aleph is the same, same angle, is the bull of the sky. It's Taurus. And my work goes further to show the Omega symbol it represents the Stargate. You'll see it now uh, just in a short preview. Three symbols you need to know in advance the Cosmic Serpent, the Cosmic Dragon, and the Cosmic Lion are all the same representation. There's many representational symbols for the Stargate or Cosmic Serpent conduit. This is where they are all telling the same story. Here is a, a Christian uh, depiction of the Christ with the Stargate. And this decoding what this banner means here, Sapienta, with a T for Tau, Taurus. Uh, it's in the article. Mayan codices, some released by the Vatican recently, show the Omega symbol and the Stargate device. And this is the, the cosmic serpent conduit. One is an address and one is a destination. So in other words, a uh, point of origin, point uh, of destination. One upside down, one the right way around. That's the device. This is the de device open. I'll show you a close-up view of that. The serpent coming out of this ring-like device from a sun. It's showing pretty much a cosmic uh, plasma ribbon. That is the Tau symbol for Taurus. Three suns that's in the mouth of the serpent. There are other depictions. Ancient astronauts, earphones, microphones, seven swirls coming out of a plasma ribbon from this device. Three suns and three exoplanets. Pretty much showing that. A lot of people know my theory on the uh, this papyrus of a UFO landing, Ra's landing of his ship. The whole story here is depicting the, the ship landing. It was a disc with a dome and three legs, and it landed on the back of the Sphinx. Why is it riding the lion? That is the question. I'm saying it is this that landed here. How did it get here? Was it some sort of portal that it went through? Why does it symbolize? Uh, why is the uh, lion symbolical of Leo and also a uh, symbol for uh, the cosmic stargate? An Indus civilization replica here that is available to the public. A lion and a man riding the cosmic lion. And you can see all the filaments connecting to the cosmic tree. He's also showing with his hands, behold, follow the three stars of Orion's belt to find the Pleiades. And this is right by the mouth of the lion. Have a look at this now. The Sumerian seal now can be completely decoded. Man riding the lion, the cosmic lion, Laides, three belts of uh, the three the three stars of Orion's belt showing the way to a sun and an exoplanet, and the man coming out of the cosmic serpent. It's exactly the same thing. One Indus civilization of India, one Sumerian. Now to add to it, in Turkey, the Nemrat Dagi uh, uh, lion Stella has three stars on the back of the lion. It's exactly what we had, and all the stars on the face of the open mouth lion. There is the exoplanet. I'm thinking it's showing this. Notice how one is on the, on the uh, nose of the lion, one of the three sun stars, and the exoplanet. That is the Pleiades, Orion's belt. This is on Mars. One more good sample first. The uh, Manly P. Hall manuscripts depictions of a cosmic lion with the three sun, st sun stars on the face of the lion and the symbol for the monarchy, they seem to use a gold crown for the, star the stargate. There it is on Mars. Three anomalies here for Orion's belt. There is Cydonia with all the pyramid ruins representing the Pleiades, the face on Mars, the DNM pyramid. If you can't see the lion, let me help you. That's probably what it looked like. There's an uh, edge of a, a 
ocean or large lake, according to scholars that are researching this area. It's probably showing that. This is the best correlation of the star map. Pleiades, Orion's belt, and the lion depiction and the sun. There's many manuscripts that are looked at in the article uh, at the hiddenrecords.com showing that. Showing that. All telling the same story. In general, the Egypt um, mythology of the sacred feminine. Here we see uh, Queen uh, Kutesh with the Hathor headdress. Here is the Omega symbol. If you can't see it, there it is. There's the Omega symbol. In Ishtar, she's holding it. This is Sumerian. There's the cosmic wormhole opening. There is the cosmic serpent that's being opened with a rod. Both riding the cosmic lion. Sun, crescent. Now, where is it on Ishtar? She's standing on it. Okay, the Indus seal. That shows the Omega symbol as well. To go with the Indus lion seal, it has the entity going through the Omega stargate. It's showing pretty much that. Christian record showing Christ passing through this heavenly gate. The hand of God, literally, he's writing literally the hand of God, these serpent dragons. You can see them on here. You can see them here as well. The Egyptian artifact called the Shen is the Stargate device of uh, my latest uh, decoded work. It's the same entity in this Ouroboros Stargate depiction from the back of the bull's head in Taurus. It's here shown with the same three suns that you're going to see repeating in all the other artifacts that we're looking at. This is the same entity. It's showing pretty much that. Three suns and the entity stepping through the gate, opening of the lotus conduit flower, another symbol for the stargate. The replica is available to the public for those interested. The Sumerian replica that I have available to the public as well, I'm calling this the Genesis Stella, the Genesis Stone. It shows everything. Three suns. Serpent coming down from the three suns near the Pleiades. There's the Pleiades. It comes through to Scorpio. I'm going to show you why Scorpio is important, because that's our domain. Kept stargates, three temples, one Omega upside down. That is where it touches down in this temple. Here the three temples are shown again with the active serpent. These are three temples on the ground, three suns in the heavens. As above, so below. It's like the Masonic star map. This is the link between the two, the stargate. And there is what you get if you go on the star program and look where our sun is when you view from the Pleiades area. From the Pleiades, this is where they find our sun in between the pincers of Scorpio. That is why the entity in the Tut Tutankhamun burial has the gold the deity with the scorpion and the sun between the pincers, telling the story of the earth domain and the sun system here that they had uh, command over. The complete decoded stone, as above, so below. Three suns, three temples. Look at this crescent style of the Sumerians as well. We're going to see how important these two uh, patterns are in relation to that one. There it is right there. The Labna Maya temple. These are the Mayans now, showing the same three suns. Here they are, one of the big crescents. Omega. It is a uh, broken piece broken off that one. If you have a look, it's missing. And uh, Cosmic Serpent and a man coming out of the Cosmic Serpent, Pleiades. It's exactly the same as the Sumerian. This is in a whole different land, different continent, and another different continent in India. Cosmic Dragon with the Omega symbol open, three suns, same uh, crescent depiction for one of them as well. They add in Orion as the, the sacred mas masculine, the Lingam, and the Yoni, the womb. This is the cosmic womb of. Uh, of, of mythology, the, the sacred feminine, the area of uh, the Pleiades. Now this device that I say is uh, the Shen Ring decodes the Ankh further, because the Ankh is basically a stargate on top of a Taurus T uh, symbol, the Tau cross. Three suns in it. Let's have a close look at this replica. I've got this replica available to the public as well. This is the actual size. Shen symbol active. The symbol is coming out of the stargate. That is the uh, conduit plasma ribbon that comes out that seems to be active by the wormhole, perhaps, going to these three suns in the area of the plate. One little twist of the story, it's a living ang, according to Egyptians. This ang walked uh, with the, the Egyptian kings. It had a very large head. It's an entity that the North African tribes all know very well. They call him the fertility god. So, now looking back at the Taurus, 
being represented for the alpha symbol and stargate being represented for the omega symbol, if that is true, in the Revelations, quote, I am the alpha and the omega, what the entity is saying, holding seven stars in his hand, be it the Christ, be it a cosmic messenger, I think it's a, a cosmic messenger, he's saying, I am from the Taurus stargate. And the reason that's in the beginning and the end of the Bible is because that's the only part in the Bible where it shows the tree of life as created.